thank you so much for sticking with me in my channel i am very very happy guys and um like i said i'll be trying my best to make sure like you guys get glued to this channel it's pretty hot today so i'm just gonna have a wrap up fast 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 so we can go into something else this weekend so today's topic is uh study in georgia i know we've talked a lot about lithuania most people just know about lithuania there are still other countries okay uh somebody might be asking if georgia is a schengen country georgia is not schengen they are just trying to be part of schengen but i uh, will just like give a rundown why studying in georgia is important too but later on i'm going to do a video between lithuania versus georgia okay so i'm going to like have state out the comparisons uh also state out the differences so you guys can be able to make your choice depending on the size of your pocket not really me telling you what to do so the first question i have here is uh, is it cheap to study in georgia yes the answer is yes relatively it's very cheap to study in georgia it's because uh georgia they are using larry which is their currency in my previous video i talked about that and they are also using dollars so sometimes international students get to pay like from let's say three thousand dollar upwards depending on the on the cost as well but courses like medicine is very very expensive but apart from that every other course is, is relatively cheap to study in georgia so the second question i have is uh, can international students work in georgia uh relating to that i've already made video regarding jobs in georgia their wages are pretty low compared to lithuania okay so you can work and study but the jobs are not like more in georgia okay you know they are just trying to put themselves together so the wages are not high and the jobs are not really there so georgia i would say is very very good for someone who just want to study okay another question i have is why should you study in georgia the reason is because you need to study in a country that it's economically uh the cost of living is not expensive also low tuition fee and at the same time low cost of accommodations these are the things that international students look out for before they go to a country you don't want to go to a country where it will be pretty high for you to be able to live or for you to be able to survive or for you to be able to like carry out your day-to-day -day activities due to you don't have funds and other so that is the reason why you should study in georgia so another question i'm looking at here is uh, what language is spoken in georgia they speak Catholic is the language spoken in georgia i'm going to be speaking the language in my in my um subsequent video where i'll be comparing lithuania versus georgia because i understand let me say 80% of Georgia so I can speak so I would like to communicate and try to see what I can remember so they speak their language okay but the youngsters they speak English let's say 30% uh, of the population is speaking English okay why 70% speak Catholic okay and uh, the next question I have here is um, is Georgia good for international students I would say yes Georgia is a very good place guys for anyone to study the reason is because I've said before the accommodation is cheap they have good environment conducive learning atmosphere so they are friendly people the rate of racism is pretty low compared to nothing so it's a very good place for international students to study and also they have this sense of community in Georgia literally anybody li likes you anybody can give you food it doesn't matter so that is how Georgia is and another question I have here is, is Georgia safe? The level of, yes, the answer is yes. The level of security in Georgia is very, very high. That is why I would recommend anyone to study there as well because it's really relatively cheaper compared to other European countries. And in Georgia, you can go out, let me say, in the morning, you can go out like as late as 1, mid p.m. 1 a.m. in the morning you can go at like two like the security is, is okay everything is good so it's a safe place uh, another question i'm looking at is how much does it cost to live in georgia guys we're not talking about georgia atlanta that is in the u.s i'm talking about georgia tbilisi okay so don't get things mixed up 
how how much does it cost to live in Georgia? Uh, if you are living alone, we can say uh, relatively, let's say, um, it should be around 400 and something to 700 dollars. So depending on your living situation, if you want luxury or if you just want to live like normal apartments, you can get like, let's say from 250 to 500 to 600 dollars, depending on what you're looking for. So it's relatively cheap. Cost of living is not expensive. And also talking about the transportation system, Georgia have a very good transportation system, which is affordable to everyone. Uh, first and foremost, they have the, the metro. For the metro station, you're going to see it on the screen. You can either pay 20 33 for student. There's a student card. You're going to see it on the screen as well. Or there is the metro, metro money card. Okay, you're going to still going to see it on the screen. So if you're using the card, you're going to pay like 50 Tetris. Uh, is in my previous video, I've talked about their currencies. Or if you're using the student card, you are going to pay 20 Tetris. So it's either you're using Metro for your transportation or you're using the, the mini bus. Okay, the mini buses are like, they are called Mashuka. Okay, the yellow mini buses. You can stop it at anywhere. The flat rate you can pay in those buses are like 80, 80 Tetris. That is if where you're going is not very far. That is usually what you take. But if where you're going is like very close, you can just pay like 50 Tetris and the driver will not disturb you. And apart from that, they also have the one they call the autobus. Autobus are the longer buses that carry people like if you want to go from your house to the airport anywhere around the city is the same thing the same card you're using to pay for the mini buses and for metro is also usable but that is just like bigger buses where a lot of people are inside so which other thing do i have here uh, they also have like uh taxis that carry people from the airport when you arrive to your place of destination which is like uh, which is the georgian taxis you're going to see it on the screen and also they have a cable car which is cost to larry those cable cars carry usually carry people that are living on the mountain top from ground, ground to the top so apart from that these are basically uh, the things i think we should talk about regarding georgia uh what is georgia famous for georgia is famous for wine they have like I think almost the best wine in the world. They are known for wine making. So if you go to Georgia, immediately arrive at the airport, first thing they do is to give you the wine because it's like we are welcoming you into our country. And also the the capital which is Tbilisi is known as Tbilisi loves you. So they have that is what is no like that is what is called Tbilisi. Tbilisi loves you. And also talking about internet in Georgia, Wi-Fi internet, if it is good, of course, it's very, very good. And um, you can connect anywhere. The name of the internet is Tbilisi Loves You, of course. You can get connected anywhere, do anything you want to do, you know, yes. So talking about the school fee structures in Georgia, what is their school fees like if they spread out school fees? Yes, of course, guys, they spread out school fees in Georgia, which is to say you can decide, okay, your university can tell you if you're paying social amount by this time and you complete this social time, okay? This, you know, but sometimes there are pressures if you're not able to meet up with the school fees. Okay, Faith, I want to ask you, can I be able to get admission into Georgia without eyelets? yes the answer is in georgia due to the uh, their educational system though they are using the same educational system as other european countries you know but you can still get admission into georgia without english proficiency tests either TOEFL, or ILET, on any of those english stuff okay so uh looking at it and uh, somebody can be asking me how many people can you stay in a room it depends uh, most though like i said before racism is close to nothing in georgia but there are still some the elderly people with the post-soviet mindsets 
sometimes they don't really like strangers coming to stay in their homes because they feel like okay i don't want a stranger i just want the locals to live in my place but apart from that they are actually few they are still the good ones and uh, so they just let you live in their house and you can reach an agreement how you want to be paying the rent and how many people you want to live in your house yes another question i have to look into is how is the people okay georgian people are 100 percent hospitable people okay georgians are 100 percent hospitable i can say that anywhere because i literally lived in the country for seven solid years so there is nothing you want to tell me about the country that i don't know about because i've been there i was integrated into the culture i understand the people i relate to them you know so it's like a home from home for me so these people are hospitable georgia is a place where your neighbor can literally come and knock at your door and ask you have you eaten today do you have food i have some food they literally force you to eat like you know this are uh, this is how they are that they, they check up on you what is happening we didn't see you today you didn't go to school literally they care you know you no know, we in a layman's word we are going to say they are being nosy yeah they are being nosy but in a good way anyways so this is how the people is uh, talking about the uh georgia have like the cities georgia have like several cities okay so for those of you that want to study in georgia you can look out for tbilisi tbilisi is the capital they have other cities like kutaisi they have batumi batumi is very beautiful guys if you go to batumi and you tell someone you're in georgia they will think you're in a different world altogether because of how beautiful the place is though it's a very small city okay so these are the things you uh, i really want to talk to you, to you guys about georgia and apart from that i also graduated from new vision university i'm going to be posting it on the screen you're going to see my university you're going to see my graduation yes of course it was fun so i'm going to post it on the screen for you all to see so should in case you're interested in studying in georgia it's a very good good country for you to study in okay and somebody might be asking me if i study in georgia can i travel around other european countries the answer is yes but you need a visa that is where i'm going to come with the next video that has to do with the comparison between lithuania and georgia so i'm going to like explain better in details for you guys to understand what makes them different so apart from that guys i don't know even if you have any other questions let's make this video interacting should in case you have questions drop it uh, the comment section and I'm going to reply right away okay these are relatively uh, yeah before I wrap up the video someone might be asking me the police in Georgia are they friendly Georgian police are friendly if they see you in a place that is not okay they will literally stop and try to find out what you're doing at that place at that time they could give you a lift to just make sure you're good and another thing in Georgia is that the police are not quick to take action. Georgia, they can investigate the matter for two or three years just to be sure everything is fine. And the last question before I wrap up the video is, what is their immigration system like? Okay, uh, during the period I was in Georgia, for the period of seven years I was there, I never had any issues with immigration. I never had any issue with my resident i never had any issues whatsoever because but now i'm hearing some stories of how the immigration system is a bit street of course it's a country that is full of attraction georgia is full of mountains so many beautiful places to see full of culture lively people you know they are extroverts you know somebody can literally hug you on the street and be like oh you look so beautiful you're hot you know like these are georgians for you so a lot of people are coming in a lot of tourists are coming in a lot of students are trooping in on let's say yearly basis or quarterly we, we can't really say but so if the government is trying to make their uh, regulations to be stricter you wouldn't blame them because they need to protect uh, the country as well from anything bad happening to their locals and other international people there in Georgia as well. So the immigration system is not really very difficult except you've been in the country for a long time not doing anything. Sometimes they tend to deny residents for students and all that which is actually what makes it different from Lithuania. 
at the same time so guys i think i've come to the end of this video actually if today is the first time you're coming across any of my video i will urge you to share with your friends and also like uh the notification button so each time i drop any video you're going to see it and most importantly don't forget to subscribe okay so guys i'll try my best to make sure i bring you guys latest content and also make sure like you guys are new to my channel okay to make sure that you get like all the necessary information you need okay so should in case you want to study in georgia or you have more questions about studying in georgia do not forget to ask me thank you so much it's your girl great and do have a lovely weekend guys bye